สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today here on NBT World. The seminar on OECD economic outlook for Southeast Asia, China, and India 2019 towards smart urban transportation. The Department of International Economic Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in cooperation with the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development (OECD), co-organized a seminar on OECD economic outlook. For Southeast Asia, China, and India, 2019, towards smart urban transportation, on Wednesday, 3rd April 2019, at Narathip Auditorium, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the seminar presided over by Mrs. Vila Wan Mangkla Thanagun, Director General of the Department of International Economic Affairs, was well attended by more than 120 participants from government agencies. Private and academic sectors, as well as the diplomat missions in Thailand. The seminar started with a presentation on the OECD Economic Outlook 2019, edition by Mr. Kensuka Tanaka, head of Asia Desk, OECD Development Center. Mr. Tanaka presented that the economic expansion rate in emerging Asia, Southeast Asia, China, and India remained robust. Their GDP was expected to grow by an annual average of 6.1% in 2019 to 2023. However, challenges to the outlook would be related to the export performance amidst rising protectionism, opportunity and risk of fintech, and quality of response of natural disaster. Moreover, the thematic focus of this year is. Smart urban transportation, with a special focus on transportation, particularly traffic congestion in emerging cities. The report suggests a number of policy options, including expanding and upgrading public transportation, the use of uh, new technology to manage the system (ICT) and big data, encouraging flexible working hours. And the price-based and non-price-based policy to limit the number of vehicles in the cities. The representatives of Ministry of Transport, Dr. c h a y a t h a m p r o m s o n and the Bank of Thailand, Dr. r u n g p o n r e u n g p i t y a were invited to share their ideas on the macroeconomic trends and urban traffic system management. This seminar is an annual event. Co-organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the OECD for more than nine years, and is a reflection of a strong and long-lasting collaboration between Thailand and the OECD. OTCC strictly controls major retail trading businesses from taking advantage on manufacturers. On April 29, 2019. Mr. Santichai s a r a t h a w a n p a t a spokesman of the Office of Trade Competition Commission (OTCC), revealed that the Trade Competition Commission has approved a draft announcement of the TCC on the guidelines to consider the unfair trade practice, the unfair trade practices between retail trading business operators and manufacturers or suppliers. He said. The TCC had assigned the OTCC to hold public hearings from stakeholders and the general public via website www.otcc.or.th from April 29, 2019 to May 28, 2019. Mr. Sandeep Shah added that after the end of the public hearing period. The TCC will take all related information to conclude and adjust the draft announcement as appropriate, particularly in the significant, particularly in the significant issues which could have major impact on the consumers. He said the TCC announcement will be immediately enforced after it is published in the Royal Gazette. Acting Commerce Minister asked uh, nine directors of Thai Trade Center offices in China to adjust export strategy. After attending the Second Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation (BRF) in Beijing in April 2019, 
Acting Commerce Minister Shutima Bunya Prapatson has presided over a meeting with nine directors of Thai Trade Center offices to make necessary adjustments to the export strategy due to the trade war between China and the U.S. Ms. Shutima said Thailand lost estimated 780 million U.S. dollars worth of export revenue from the ongoing trade spat between the U.S. and China in the 12 months ending on March 31st. And a study found that Thailand's exports as of March 31st were down 0.3% to $780 million because of the law of the trade law. She added that automobiles and parts, housing and office products, computer components and circuits, electronic appliances and machines shipped to China felt by an estimated $10 billion. Ms. Tutima said the ministry aims to increase bilateral trade with China by 12% this year and have set a target of $140 billion for 2021. Focusing on boosting the exports of Thai agricultural products, she said the ministry will promote exports of farm-produced and processed products to China from small and medium enterprises, SMEs, in Thai agricultural industry. She said China is currently Thailand's biggest trading partner. In 2018, trade value with China stood at 80,136 billion US dollar, increasing by 8.7% year on year. Competition policy and law is a vital tool to level playing field to all market participants to create free and fair competition. And Thailand is one of the first countries in ASEAN to have passed a trade competition law. So next break, we will talk about cooperation between the Thai government and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, calling in short East OECD, on OECD Thailand Country Program on Developing Competition Policy. Coming back after a short break. Imagine a strategic location for business that connects you to over 3 billion Asian consumers while you float across a vast bay among dolphins. Imagine a well-connected logistics and communication network for fast movement of your business operation while you discover new ways to relax. Imagine a network of specialized cities connecting your business across the value chain while you socialize at breathtaking views with business partners. Imagine a committed government that strongly supports your business while you enjoy Thailand's finest dining experience. Imagine Thailand. Invest in Thailand. Welcome back to Thailand today here on NBT World. In our studio, uh, in our studio today, Mr. Krishada Piempongsan is the deputy chairperson of the Office of Trade Competition Commission calling in short is OTCC and he will tell us about the cooperation uh, between the Thai government uh, and the uh, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD on OECD Thailand country program on developing competition policy. Sawadika. Sawadika. Well, welcome back to Thailand Today program, sir. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, as I said, it's a hard to know, a hard to understand project or, or program, but whatever. We need, we have you here to clarify for things, right? So let's just start with um, the background of the OECD, and uh, that uh, can, what we call we calling it a Thailand country program on developing competition policy. Yes, thank you very much for the question. Uh, 
let me explain a little bit more yes, about sir. what OECD is. Yes, sir. In fact, OECD uh, is an intergovernmental organization. Mm -hmm. uh, it was formed af right after the World War II. Ooh, uh, that far. That's, that's right. Current at, uh, currently, it has about 36 uh, members. members. Uh -huh. uh, most of them are high-income countries. Okay. Uh, and, uh, well, you include uh, 27, not, not 27 EU uh, members. Mm -hmm. I think uh, some of the new countries are still not a member. Plus 36. Plus, plus uh, 10 more. 10 more. Uh -huh. 10 more. Uh, for example, United States, New Zealand, Australia, uh -huh. um, Chile, and some others. Oh, okay. So uh, it's, it has about 30, 36 member countries mm. uh, comprising, mm. uh, well, the total GDP is about 62% mm. of the world GDP. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, population of this particular organization uh, is about 1.3 billion mm. Mm -hmm. people. Yes. So uh, OECD uh, is based in uh, Paris. Oh, and it's right. a kind of, excuse me, it's a kind of technical uh, cooperation uh, organization. Okay. Uh, you have the United Nations, which takes uh -huh. care of the international organizations yes. uh, and, uh, and cooperation. Down to that. And uh, OECD uh, is basically European based okay. international uh -huh. organizations. Uh -huh. So when, when we talk about 36 members, that's uh, including Asia? Oh, or Southeast yes, Asia. Asia also. Uh, Southeast Asia, uh, Asia we have, uh, we have uh, in, uh, um, Japan and Korea uh -huh. as the members of the OECD. And Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia, we, we only have, no, no, Thailand Thailand. is not a member, not a member yeah. which is a privilege, in uh -huh. fact, uh, that we have uh -huh. been included in the country program uh -huh. of OECD. Yeah. Uh, the country program of OECD is, is, is uh, at the moment, is at the request Oh. of the Thai government okay. and the Thai, the Thai government would like to have uh, OECD to assist uh, uh -huh. in, in our development, in shaping our development and, uh, so and competition policies. Uh, in a certain areas? In certain areas, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what are actually objective of this uh, OTCC actually? So what is the difference between OECD and the OTCC? Oh, I see. Okay, uh, OTCC, mm. or Office of Trade uh, uh, Competition Commission, okay. uh, is the Thai government entity. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's an independent organization. Okay. Uh, it yeah. used to be under the Ministry mm. of uh, uh, Commerce, mm. uh, a, a kind of a bureau or a division mm. of competition. Mm in the ministry, in the Department of Internal Trade. Mm -hmm. I don't want to confuse with that with to, to our audience. So let me come back a little bit on OECD. Yeah. And uh, you, so, so you said um, it has a special mission, what you call mission or project, uh, be called uh, Thailand, OECD Thailand Country yes. Program. It's a project. It's a project. Yes. It's a small project. So this is being supported by the rest of them? It's being supported by, by the rest, by of, the rest the countries, of the countries. The yes. countries. So th there are some, some domestic uh, topics or areas, yes. like traffic jam, oh. <laughs> that kind of thing. Do they come into it? Well, uh, uh, the o o OECD is a kind of technical backstopping facility yeah. for the, uh, at first, for the European uh, countries. Okay. It's, yes. it's uh, first of all, when it was uh, formed mm -hmm. uh, back in 1948, mm -hmm. after the World War II, mm -hmm. it was uh, the organization that administered the Marshall Plan mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. the for the recovery of, the, of, of, the, of Germany. Oh, okay. It was the, the, the uh -huh. technical assistance uh, that United States gave to Europe to, Europe. to, oh. to, to, make, to recup recuperate uh, okay. uh, after the war-torn mm -hmm. countries mm -hmm. uh, that suffered from the World War II. Mm -hmm. It was the task of the OECD. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was called OEEC. Oh, I heard of that. Exactly. Yeah, but when it back in 1961, mm -hmm. OECD changed, uh, OEEC OECD. changed its name to O. OE O yeah. OECD. OECD. So you have the OEEC first, uh -huh. and then it uh -huh. changed its name in 1961 to OECD, OECD. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Development. So they had to add up because they gone by development of the, each country be differently. And, yeah. and at that time, uh, the United States, after the Marshall Plan, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. had expired. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the Truman Point Four program, yeah. which created uh, a number of aid giving organizations mm -hmm. like USAID, okay. like uh, including the UNDP yeah. and some others. Mm -hmm. As for the OE, uh, OECD, that we have uh, a smaller. Uh, what you call it, a certain area we talk about, we, do we need to do uh, any commitment of the MOU or anything? Yes, the, yes, there is an MOU mm -hmm. which was signed by uh, Minister Kopsak mm -hmm. uh, back in uh, two years ago, back in, uh, mm -hmm. in, in 2017. Ah, I see. So uh, what is the essence of that? The essence of, of the, the signature is to, to cooperate with the OECD mm -hmm. in launching the country program mm -hmm on competition mm. and so some others also okay. like the, the good governance uh, l like uh, you know the public policies that mm -hmm. would shape the economies of, of Thailand. How do they get into us like that? How do they get into, into, into Thailand? Thailand yes. Well, OECD has been, uh, you know, a friend of Thailand. Uh, oh. OECD uh, uh, is known to Thailand for mm. a long time, mm. uh, even before WTO. Oh. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. WTO came into existence mm -hmm. in 1995. Uh, uh, OECD had been there for since 1961, uh, uh, but but yes. uh, since it was you know based on the European uh, integration, mm -hmm. uh, we had not benefited from the programs oh. of OECD very much. Yeah, because since we are not a member, right? We are not a member. Uh -huh. So this kind of a project, it extra we call ex what do you call extra. Oh, oh, exactly. Oh, oh. Is it the only one country in uh, in in Southeast Asia to s propose that? Uh, Thailand, yes, yeah. for Thai because because we are we are forming a new organization mm -hmm. because we had changed we had reformed the laws mm -hmm. uh, we changed the laws uh, from 1991 that we had launched mm -hmm. some time ago ten mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. we launched uh, the first uh, we enacted the first. Uh, Trade Competition mm -hmm. Act, mm -hmm. the first mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and after the reform mm -hmm. uh, of late, we 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 changed it again, uh -huh. and this time we took this competition body mm -hmm. out of the Ministry of Commerce mm -hmm. and you know enshrined it as an independent organization uh, for the country. Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 mm -hmm. seven commissioners mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. just been in the work mm -hmm. uh, for only five months. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm. since the f second of January mm. and we are we are still working mm. on with with this organization maybe mm. for another four years mm. so with this o OECD uh, what you call supporting mm. that kind of uh, what a special project that we talk about so since then and here until now is there any Prosperity or any development have been done together? Uh, uh, the the program that mm. OECD is running uh, the for Thailand, Thailand we yes, particularly the call program. Thailand, yes. yes, Thailand country program, exactly, yeah. which, which concerns uh, as as the case may be yes. uh, uh, with us, especially competition policies. Mm. Mm. The competition laws we had just uh, launched a new competition laws. Can go a little down for that, please. What the is the detail of competition that? laws? Uh -huh. The Protecting? competition law is mm -hmm. uh, the laws that governs the, uh, uh, the unfair trade practices. Uh, okay, from other unfair businesses for, practices. from the other members of OECD to us. Or what? No, among ourselves. Among uh, really? among Thai. Among the Thai the businesses, Thai? domestic oh, really? businesses. Okay. And also, since uh, all other ASEAN countries mm -hmm. has already got these laws enacted. Okay. Also, so they start so doing that. Also, starting uh -huh. doing it, mm. uh, and 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 Interesting. now we are catching up with them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, because they just realized that hey, we're Thailand having that. Why yeah. don't we do have the same thing? Yes, mm. all of them. All of them now had, had already uh. been been uh, launching these mm. laws. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So could we provide dates and the details of the first activities under the MOU? Uh, activities maybe, a, yeah. a, at the moment, yes, certainly. Thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the um, the new the country program for Thailand at the moment uh, consists of the workshops. Uh -huh. uh, yes. We we intend to do uh, five or seven workshops mm -hmm. altogether uh, for for t for domestically. Domestically, mm -hmm. uh, on the twenty seventh to the 29th yeah. of, uh -huh. of, of this month, oh, of this month yes. we are going to launch the first ever OECD OTC workshop. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, and the workshop, uh, the first one uh, on the 27th, uh, is aimed at uh, giving an overview on, on the functions of the organizations like us. Uh -huh. uh, and we have invited our ASEAN friends to attend the commissioners. Okay. The ASEAN commissioners, uh, mm -hmm. as I had pointed out, yes. that we, they already mm -hmm. have a, a, a law of their own. Uh -huh. So they are coming. They bring along. They bring along <laughs> to, to, as a first priority. Uh -huh. and, uh, and, and we also invite the six other sectors, uh -huh. the regulators. Oh. In this of Thailand, mm -hmm. we we would like to 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 tell to them a little bit more uh, about what uh, these laws are. Uh -huh. So that is, we it's in a way we, it, it's kind of we need them to come with just like protecting us in certain areas, right? Uh, oh. Do they? I mean the the OECD. Oh, oh no, uh, yeah. the, the, it's an international practice. Uh, for, for competition mm. policies. Mm -hmm. um, I, d I think uh, probably one has to understand first what uh, competition uh, policies is. Yes. Uh, the competition policies is to ensure that not only the, bu the, the business is, is uh, giving a, an equal opportunity okay, yes, yeah. and fair trade and business oh, practices, oh. but also okay. to protect the consumers. Oh. We oh. Our laws, we, we don't have the consumer's mm. Uh, mm. element in, in the laws. Okay. We, we, we have a different uh, act mm. that protects mm. the consumers. Mm. So the consumers will be protected by mm. a different law. Law. Uh -huh. mm. yeah, we will it. protect the, the lesser mm. businesses, mm. the smaller mm. businesses from being dominated mm. by the monopolistic mm. enterprises mm. or corporates. Uh, and but can't of we course create ourselves? <laughs> at the moment, we have <laughs> a lot of problems. Uh, really? Yes, we uh, have a lot of problems. Uh, I thought domestically, but why can't we have, well, you, have you a law enactment to be done? Uh, uh, the laws will protect the... But as long as you are dealing with other international firms, a company, right? That's why you need the international uh, law to come in. Of course, to be, yes. To that's be, that's to also... Bring in use. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are, for example, if the Thai investors are doing mm. businesses okay. in a certain ASEAN countries right. and they had the problem, okay. ah. Ah. then we, we will, we ah. will, they can ask uh, and counsel with our organizations mm. whether this is in line with the international practices mm, and is, is, is there actually. any kind of mm. protective measures that they ah. can do. Okay, now I got it. Now, now it's quite clear that why do of we course. have to have it when we talk about the internationally, uh, internationally among ASEAN countries, uh -huh. and also if you would like Thailand to become a hub uh. for investment, yes, you need to have a law uh -huh. that is applying equally uh -huh. to the foreign firms also. For example, mm -hmm. in EEC, if mm -hmm. we, we you are inviting. Yes. Uh, the companies uh, from the United States or from mm. Europe to come, mm. you need to be transparent enough mm. to tell them that this is the law mm. that equally uh, mm -hmm. applies mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. firms. Mm -hmm. And uh, everyone is on the, an even keel, on a, a level playing field. Uh, the FTA concerns the reduction of mm. tariff, mm. but yes. this is the reform mm. of the law so that it would enable the smaller enterprises to be able to measure up mm. fairly mm -hmm. with the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the kind of uh, the mm -hmm. uh, practices that we would like uh, the, the foreign firms to understand that they are being treated equally. Very interesting and very wise. So we are coming to the end of the first part of the interview. So next we'll be focusing on the Trade uh, Competition Act B 2060 of Thailand and the Trade uh, Competition Commission. So please stay tuned. In 2019, Thailand is ready for ASEAN chairmanship, working together and building solidarity to increase competitiveness and innovation with the people at the center. All sectors are ready to promote unity of the ASEAN community. NBT World is excited to be a full supporter of the Thai ASEAN Chairmanship. Keep up to date on ASEAN 2019 movement with NBT World.
Welcome back to our program. We are still with uh, Mr. Krishna Pimpongsan. He will tell us how important of the Trade uh, Competition Act be uh, 2560 of uh, Thailand and the Trade uh, Competition Commission in uh, promoting free and fair trade competition. Yes, sir. So the, what, the, the two, two, 2560, that means last year, the year before. The year so before. already said exactly. that. So it's going to, be going to be using this one. Yes. It's not going to be new. It's, it's a new one. It's, it's already new. Yes. I see. So tell us about that a little bit upon the background of that, sir. Yes. Uh, well, uh, the background of, of this new enactment mm -hmm. of, of the law is, is quite different from the last one. Mm -hmm. The last one, the penalty was of criminal offences. Mm. Only. Okay. Whereas this one, the, the, there's some kind of international standards that oh. we are applying to the new laws. Oh. We are using both administrative penalties, okay. which is fines, okay. uh, and and we are using uh, the uh, international court mm -hmm. uh, of uh, intellectual property and international trade court mm -hmm. uh, to to judge as well as this, the criminal court. Ah. as judges okay. for, for the criminal charges. All right. So we have a combination uh -huh. of, of the, the admixture of the courses, uh, of the, the offenses that could be applied to these offenses. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, we, have, uh, we have Article uh, 50, mm -hmm. which is the abuse of the dominant position. Mm -hmm. For example, if you have uh, a dominant market, which is uh, more than 50%, of the market share value, mm. uh, you 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 have it it it's, it's prescribed you mm. as the the businesses that have the made ma the the dominant market share. Mm. But if you abuse mm. that dominant position, mm -hmm. then you are liable to penalties. Mm. Uh, and and it, uh, for article this is Article Fifty mm -hmm. uh, for the abuse of the dominant position. Mm -hmm. It's a criminal offense. Criminal, offenses. yeah. So imprisonment or Imprisonment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Imprisonment, two years, max. Oh. Only? Only, according <laughs> to the <laughs> law. <laughs> according <laughs> to the law. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm saying according to uh, the law. I was, uh, uh, <laughs> when, when hearing to this, that means it doesn't go. I was thinking of uh, one other case. We don't want to mention who and who, but uh, uh, it's about the tourism authority of Thailand uh, being sued, I think, the former... Uh, Chief of that. Oh, so oh no, different, no, that's different. No, no, that's, but that was that's, 50 something years. That, that we, has got nothing to do with two this. Years. Ah, because it's criminal so charges. Uh -huh. it, it's uh, it's anti corruption uh, business. Act. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. that's not, not the business at all. Uh, the act. It's, it, it's the criminal charges. The criminal charge act. Yes. Mm -hmm. so it's the criminal the offense. Okay, so this is. Sub okay, so what Thai. Can, can you give some example of this, please? Uh, for the dominant least. position, if you are, uh, for example, if you are doing a retail uh, uh, mm. uh, services uh. or businesses, uh. and you you tend to monopolize uh, uh. certain in in certain geographical areas, okay. uh, certain products, oh, okay, uh -uh. then and if you abuse by barring other retails to enter into the market then that's the criminal offense. That's a monopolistic offense. Oh, okay. O oligopolistic. You're not supposed to do so. You're not supposed to do. Oh. Uh, the, for, for the uh, oligopolistic offense, uh, y y the market share is 75%. Mm -hmm. But mm. if you abuse that, wow. if you collude okay. and fix prices and yeah. some others, uh, uh, then uh, you abuse your mm. dominant position. Um, so this will be satisfied by the foreign uh, trading, foreign business, foreign people. No, no, it's domestic. It is domestic only. Mm. Uh, and and if the you have the foreign business retails uh. coming in, they are subject to the same law. Oh, okay, but once they come into the the territory. Or to the uh, kingdom. They are, it's a law of uh, the, the land. Be, uh, it's a law of the land. Uh, uh, it, it's not international in such a way that okay. you can apply across the border. Uh, okay. uh, for but example, if, if a certain country would like to establish a retail shop uh, okay. in, in, in Thailand, Ita yes. they, they are subject to this law. Mm, okay. So this is... And this is just one, one article. Okay. Then you have uh, another article, Article 51. 
-hmm. which is the merger and acquisition. Mm -hmm. The merger <laughs> and acquisition, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are, they are they, if a certain entity mm -hmm. would like to merge mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. acquire mm -hmm. uh, another, another entity, mm -hmm. uh, either, well, horizontally, mm -hmm. uh, in Singapore, mm -hmm. Uh, they did not inform the competition authorities. Uh, so, uh -huh. so they are fine. Ah. One of them are fine. <laughs> so uh, uh, for for this one, then mm. you you are fine. Mm. Mm. If you you ignore mm. to to inform and mm. ask for the approval, mm. it applies. It actually, it can be done, but it need. Uh, information to be known exactly to be publicized exactly right? exactly mm. to, to be known ah. to be approved approved by the authorities by the, authority. by the competition authorities and not simply just enter the country not simply just just do that just move in and exactly oh my God. this is this is one of the very exactly great laws and but this is fine this is penalty is administrative fine mm. Mm. not criminal offense not criminal not yeah. that much yes yet. Uh, mm. and, and if even if they had merged and acquired one another, mm -hmm. they are supposed to inform uh, and to, to ask for, for the opinion of these authorities within seven days. Uh -huh. Otherwise, they are going to be fine. Okay, that's good. This is just two articles. Mm -hmm. And there are some others, for example, uh, the uh, article 54 mm -hmm. and 55. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the hardcore cartels and the non-hardcore cartels. <laughs> Hard -core, yeah. The cartels, uh, Thailand's a uh, lot. A lot, yes. A lot, cartels, uh, you uh, know, uh, collusion, uh, uh, price, price fixing. Uh, yes, a lot, yes. A lot. Uh, but, but nothing can be done. Well, you have you the, law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the law. The law is a long arm the law of the laws, we will we'll catch you. Uh, uh, uh. And, and this is one of the most important things, because we have all these penalty clauses, mm -hmm. and our task is to enforce them. Mm. We, mm. we will have to prosecute. From now on or what? Because From so far, so the bad. The law has already <laughs> given us uh, the, uh, the, 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 authority. the authorities uh -huh. to, to, to investigate, mm. to prosecute, mm. Mm. to make judgment, mm. especially uh, the fines on the administrative uh, it, offenses. It can be a uh, small enterprise or... Uh, it can be any enterprises uh -huh. at all. Uh, uh, so we are giving them equal opportunities. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's, uh, that's why I said an yeah. equal uh, level, level playing field uh, to MSMEs, uh -huh. SMEs, SOEs, uh, the yes. state uh, enterprises, mm, mm -hmm. to the big conglomerates, to mm. the TNC. Mm. Mm -hmm. All of them are mm. subject to this law. It's mm. good. Yeah, what else? Do you have any... Oh, I so and and, and just talking about uh, 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 entering into the foreign uh, agreement yes. with, with uh, uh, companies, for uh, example, uh, this is long. Uh, uh, this is something that is also being enforced by these author uh, authorities, mm -hmm. by this commission. Mm -hmm. For for this one, it's Article Fifty Eight. Mm. Article Fifty Eight provides yes. for also for the administrative fines mm -hmm. if if we found them mm. that they were violating. Uh, the laws, Article mm -hmm. 58, mm -hmm. we, we are supposed to investigate mm -hmm. and we are supposed to make an adjudication mm -hmm. on this one, mm -hmm. then they are going to be fine. This law enactment, do, do, is this to be known by them? Do they know it? Well, this is part of the story. This is uh, why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to tell them now. But to tell uh, them. But they but themselves who really have their own conglomerate or domestic um, yeah we we need to we, need we to are planning them. we yeah. are planning to to do this and yeah. this is part of the programs that we are doing it oh, because right. we to, are to adopting the international standards ah, ah. And, and this as i had said before they are different yes. from the old laws uh -huh. from the old act that we yes. used to have yes. long time ago 1999 mm -hmm. uh, no, yes that's right 1999 mm -hmm. yeah. so we are we are going to 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 propagate uh, this uh, implications of the laws, the penalties. Mm. We have been in cooperation at the moment with the Provincial uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce and with the Thai Chamber of Commerce as well Good. as the Board of Trade of That's Thailand so. okay. together with the uh, Federation of Thai Industries. Okay. So we are, we are going to do some advocacy. This is the another term, to do advocacy. Mm. We're mm. supposed to be a traffic uh, mm. police 
men. Mm. <laughs> yeah? uh. we, we have to give them uh, the rules, uh, the traffic rules. rules. The laws of that. Yeah, uh -huh. the rules of the laws, the traffic uh, rules mm -hmm. that they should not violate. Mm -hmm. And we are also the uh, traffic officer. Mm -hmm. We can find them. Not on the spot, but mm -hmm. we can find them. Mm -hmm. So this is the role that we are doing. Mm -hmm. We are advocating mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. what the laws would would, would, be would done yeah, exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Would mean for you, mm -hmm. and we are also telling the business people in the mm -hmm. provinces mm -hmm. that there exist these laws, mm -hmm. and they are subject and liable mm -hmm. to these laws, mm -hmm. to the fines mm -hmm. if they are violating the laws. Mm -hmm. So this is the first task of enforcement mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we are going to do. And in, in fact, mm -hmm. OECD had also suggested mm -hmm. that for low-income countries like mm -hmm. Thailand they should try to do this first. Mm. So this, this is part of the country program mm. that they are starting with us. Mm. Uh, it's the first time mm -hmm. that, that we are mm. doing with the OECD. Mm. We are also, we intend to do it with some other organizations mm -hmm. like mm. UNCTAD, mm. like ESCAP, ah, like ah. Uh, you, all the UN, the UN uh, authorities uh, 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 and the World Bank. Uh, we, we have been around uh, talking to, to these international organizations about what we are doing. Uh, and they will be well supporting. supporting. Mm -hmm. Definitely, because so why not? Why not? So to have the things to clearer and exactly. Uh, so, so you have the penalties mm. and the offenses being clarified, mm. uh, and you you are doing more on the advocacy. Mm. You are you are uh, trying to style yourself as a police officer, a traffic police officer, telling them where you should be going. And if you are violating, <laughs> yeah. then you are going to be fine. Uh, you cannot park here, you cannot park you there. Park there. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the p key policy and current trade competition commission of Thailand? Well, uh, and the key it, policies yeah. uh, of, of, of this organization. Well, as you know, we, we are now um, doing a lot of uh, uh, integration uh -huh. among the ASEAN countries oh, internationally. Uh -huh internationally. So we would like to share the experiences, uh, especially on the enforcement, mm. how we enforce the laws mm. with our, our neighboring countries. Because as you know, Thailand is the only country among the ASEAN countries that have borders, common borders, Maybe with, with some, some, some other... The whole thing. The, the no, whole not, the whole, not the whole. And not the whole uh, of the China and all that, but uh, Vietnam, Laos. The CRMB. CRMB. The CRMB. The uh, CRMB. We is, is a little bit uh, 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 far, uh, farther. But uh, this is the land-based ASEAN. Mm -hmm. and then you have the maritime ASEAN. Mm. You have mm -hmm. Indonesia, Indonesia, Philippines, yeah. Brunei, uh -huh. if, and if you count Singapore mm. also. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, we, we would like to propagate mm. uh, uh, that we have this, the laws is existing mm -hmm. in Thailand. Mm. And uh, this is something that they have to obey and abide by it, and uh, how to, to harmonize, how to yeah. integrate, mm. we hope that mm. uh, in the mm. future, if mm. you're talking about ASEAN mm. you know, as, as an integration hub, uh, as the uh, con country that can, com as, as the region that can compete, mm. then you, you need to have a kind of a set of laws mm. that mm. people trust. Mm. Mm. Of and, course. And, and of this course, is so this important. is very important. Yes, the trust. The trust. This so this is the f first thing that we, the policies that we are trying to do. Mm. Uh, second thing is, is mm. we are trying to shape the competition policies. But this is going to come from the government, mm. not, not from us. We mm. are just the enforcer mm. uh, and, and the adjudicator. Mm. But we are not the one who is shaping mm. the policies. So the government is, is very much like human rights. Mm. This mm. one is, very mu is, is like the, uh, the charter. It's a business charter, uh, mm. and, and the business, the business charter, business charter uh -huh. uh, that that should be adopted mm. by any countries at all mm -hmm. who would like to see the countries to be able to compete. Mm -hmm. And we hope that by, by doing this, uh, we our ranking, uh, it's different thing about competitiveness and mm -hmm. competition, mm -hmm. but competition can can upgrade Thailand in mm. among through the ranks. Uh, we are now being graded by uh, international yeah, organizations yeah. Uh, and OECD so is good news hopefully mm, uh, hopefully so uh, this is something that we we hope to achieve mm. 
mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, if indeed uh, we can do this, then I think the, we are more than 50% in the dominant position. <laughs> Congratulations in advance. <laughs> Let me you. come back for this May 27 to 29th. So it's uh, going to be the first time that you said. So uh, there will be a lot of them here. Of the course, people. yes. And you are Tell cordially us, invited. Thank you so much. Uh, thank uh, you so uh, you, you're Let's invited to, yeah. to go and, and you know, participate. I, mm. I think that would be a good idea to do that. That's because yes. we are going to have the, uh, 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 a number of uh, renowned scholars mm. to be with us. For example, mm -hmm. we, are, we are going to have uh, an American uh, guru uh, by the name of uh, Bill uh, Kanachi. He, oh, he, he's from, uh, I think uh, he's from Georgetown Miami. University. Yeah. Uh, he's going to come. And then you have chairman of the OECD competition, uh, Frederick Gicheni. Okay. He, he is supposed to be coming. Okay. You have an Indian uh, uh, scholar and professor, uh, uh, Girati Kumar, uh, Meta, who is going to, to lecture on some of these aspects of international competition mm -hmm. laws mm -hmm. and, and some others. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Ruben Maximiano, you know, oh, wow. OECD, uh, and, and a number of others, uh, also the Korean, uh -huh. the Philippines uh -huh. coming. We have extended uh, invitation to the CMV. Uh, Laos had already agreed it's that they should be coming. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the OECD had been kind enough to to provide a grant aid. Uh, it's free uh, to to the CMV uh, to come. Plus uh, Indonesia, okay. so Indonesia has already said that they would be coming. So the, these commissioners, we, we mm. are going to invite mm. only the commissioners mm. to come. Mm. Uh, we'll, we'll share the experiences uh, with Thailand mm. uh, when they participate. On the first day, it's, it's a closed session. Mm. The 27th is a closed session closed for the, for the yeah. com commissioners. Uh. From, for, for the regulators that we, I told you before, mm. the, the six regulators mm -hmm. are the insurance, the, mm. uh, the securities, the uh, energy, the energy yeah. and uh, 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 telecommunication, mm. you know, uh, Bank of Thailand mm. also. So, so we, we are going to invite them to, to come and participate and let them know mm. that the SOEs and some other uh, uh, businesses, companies are subject to these kind of laws. It's mm. an international application. Mm -hmm. The second day, uh, uh, on the 28th, uh, it's going to be provided for our staff. Uh, mm. As I had said before, we, we have new staffers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, there are 100 of mm -hmm. them, uh, yes. plus the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think about 101, mm -hmm. in fact, mm -hmm. if I'm, I'm not told wrongly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, 70 of them will be participating mm -hmm. in this one. Mm -hmm. Our focus is to give them the overview on how to characterize mm -hmm. and define the markets. Mm -hmm. As I had uh, mentioned, mm -hmm. you, 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 you have the yeah. penalties Penalty. attached. Ah. to different markets. Ah, yeah. So, so ah. you need to know how to characterize oh, and yeah. investigate. Okay. So, ah. so we are focusing on investigation, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. which is, and how to characterize the market definition. Okay. The cartels, how to do that. Okay. And for on the third one, the 29th, mm -hmm. it's open. Mm -hmm. It's open for general audience, and mm -hmm. you are still you. cordially invited you, to come. Oh, and, and it is applies to all other people or, or interested audience who would like to come and listen. Okay. Because we have the same expertise, uh, the oh. same scholars, mm. the same OECD uh, mm. resource persons to, to, to tell you mm. about globalization, okay. about economics. Mm. I, if That's you would like to know economic part of it, uh, you, you, you will be given the kind of introductory sessions on this one. It's high time for people to learn about the economy of the country. Certainly. All right. <laughs> so I really wish you all the best. Thank you very much. For the much. upcoming uh, uh, seminar. Thank right. you. So we are ending up our program with great thanks to Mr. Krishna Pimpongsan, Deputy Chairperson of the Office of the Trade Competition Commission, OTCC. Thank you so much. Thank you very much here. indeed. And Thank you. Looking forward having. to see you again. Thank you very okay. much. We end up our program with thanks and looking forward to see you again and hope you enjoy the show. Salika.